Okay, welcome back. And this is this is your video number three within. Uh, where do I have it in black? Hold on a second. So this is video number three within traffic assignment, and the subtopic here is all or nothing assignment. So for some reason, I think the name gives it away to you. So what we do after finding path is from zone X to zone Y, how do you put the trips on this path? So all or nothing, basically. You put all those trips on that path or nothing at all. So what do you do? Find the shortest path between the TAZs. If you have zone A and zone B, find that path. Assign all the trips to that path between A and, A and B. If you have 200 trips, all 200 go there. Continue until all pairs of TAZ have been assigned. So in other words, if you have a 1,000 by 1,000 matrix, you do that. So you build that uh, path tree for 1,000 origin zones and then loop over to get your 1,000 paths e for each origin zone. Origin is root. Origin is root. So in the example we have given, we have just gone through, 103 is your origin. And if you have thousand zones like that, you build shortest path trees, 1,000 of them, and you construct path for each 1,000 destinations. 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million combination. So in other words, 1,000 times you do run the pathfinding algorithm and 1 million times you build the path. And Washington DC network has 3,700 zones. You do the math. So here's a simple example. From A to B, 7 minutes by route 1, 8 minutes by route 2, and 9 minutes by root 3 and you have 100 trips bingo put them all here which is the shortest path all or nothing you put all of them there that's it so to get more realistic this is another problem which you just uh, might have solved in the class the building path trees from zone A and zone B, if you do that and assign these trips to other zones from zone A and zone B. So that's a exercise in the class. So some uh, advantages and disadvantages of all or nothing assignment. It's very simple, inexpensive, easy to understand, but who in the world thinks that everybody uses the shortest path? It's not realistic, and uh, basically it's not a realistic way to do things. It may be simple, it may be inexpensive, it may be easy to understand, but it's not realistic. So there, that concludes our video 2 of module 6. See you in video 3.